uh, it means a lot um, to come out here um, in this environment and get two straight. You know, it's uh, against that team, a great team. Uh, it means a lot, and I think it did a lot, you know, for our confidence going forward. You know, we know we can compete with anybody, so we just got to keep the same level of focus. What was it like to do in that environment? You know, where TV is guarding, everybody's on their feet. Yeah, I mean, it just shows, you know, we can we can show up in those big moments, you know, on the road at home, you know, it really doesn't matter as long as we're, you know, strapped in and, and focused on, you know, the game plan and taking one one possession at a time, one play at a time. You know, um, I think those last two stops we got, you know, is just a, a testament to you know, how we've approached the last, you know, two week or two weeks just with our focus. I think getting those last two stops, you know, kind of just is a, you know, all it, it just shows, you know, all the work we put in the last two weeks, you know, in those two possessions. Good, Dan. For, for you personally, how confident do you think you feel you keep stepping into, you know, your open threes even, even more so than earlier in the season? Yeah, no, I feel really confident with my three point shot. I mean, um, I just been putting in a lot of work, uh, you know, just putting in a ton of work trying to, you know, get that shot right, get my touch from out there right. And, um, you know, obviously I'm not going to shoot six for seven every game, but just having that confidence to, you know, whether it's a make or miss, you know, shoot the next one. Um, and just my teammates and coaches, you know, they just pump the confidence, you know, and they just are on me. You know, if I don't shoot it, you know, I'm hearing about it. You know, they're always holding me accountable. So, um you know, it's it's been good, but I got a lot of work to do still. And, and, and when you do that, you know, how much do you see the defense start to adjust and, and open up things, not only for yourself, but for your teammates as you're doing it? Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, you, they just got to, I think, you know, eventually respect, respect it from out there um, and uh, figure out, you know, a way to, you know, slow that down. Um, but I think, you know, our whole team, I think we did a good job of just, you know, keeping them honest. I don't mean, know. I I think we took our shots when they were there, but we weren't settling. I think we were getting to the basket. It was kind of an ugly game, you know. Both teams under a hundred, but uh, you know, I'm proud that we pulled it out. Paulo, it's rare that teams play consecutive games in the same city. What was the mindset coming into this weekend, besides wanting the win? Just yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, for us, it was just getting to go against the number one team, you know, like you said, back-to-back -back games at, at their place. Um, it was a great opportunity. It was a great challenge. Um, and we wanted to come in and, you know, build off the momentum that we had from the homestand and uh, try and get two wins and, um, you know, just have that same focus, you know, do the, do the simple things. And, uh, you know, that's what we did. So I think we're all, we're all proud of each other. Um, but we got to turn around and do it again tomorrow. So, you know, that's what we're focused on. We saw a few of your teammates, you know, kind of retweet, tweet, tweet at Eddie House that we talked about his comments. Oh, they did. What after the game? After the after the game. But I already, I already know. I guarantee you. I bet you already know. <laughs> but just how much do you feel you guys just let your play talk for for yourselves tonight? Yeah, yeah. No, that uh. <clears throat> I'd be lying if I said, you know, we didn't see that. So, um, you know, it definitely lit a fire under under some of the guys um, and just the team in general. You know, we just want to earn the respect of the league, you know. God, I mean, we just, you know, it's clear that a lot of people still don't respect us. So, you know, we're just going to have to go out game by game and uh, lock in. And eventually, you know, it's going to be, it'll be earned. But till then, you know, we're just going to have to keep proving people wrong. What was, what was your, your teammates' reaction when you guys did see that clip from Eddie and what he was saying? I mean, we just laughed. I mean, we we took it. We took it, and you know, we we moti we used, we used it, um, you know, as fire, fuel to the fire, really. Um, just instant motivation, you know. So it's just the thing we needed to see, you know, coming off beating them, and then playing them again. You know, sometimes you might, you know, be satisfied with that first win, um, or be happy that you won one game out of two. Um, but seeing that clip, you know, kind of gave us that, you know, extra boost to come out here in this second game and um, do the same thing. Do you feel like this, you know, this six-game win streak is going to allow you guys, or like it's allow others to kind of see the potential that you guys do have as a team? A hundred percent. I mean, I think you know we're playing well right now, um, and you know it's just, I think we're all clicking. Um, 
guys, it's, it's a lot of trust out there on the court. You know, everyone trusts each other. You know, every sub that comes in, every guy that's on the court um, is trusted, you know, on offense and defense. And um, I think that's just been showing these last, you know, six, seven games, just us trusting each other. And, um, you know, we're living with the result, you know, right now it's six in a row, you know, but, you know, we may lose one and uh, we're still, we still got to have that same amount of trust. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.